what is going on guys it's your boy Ragnar bringing you a brand new video we have a jam-packed weekend full of events and we're gonna get on to them first off we got two times guild marks for all you out there that want to get your dragon flight or just overall help your guild grow this is the moment to do so so get to farming that dragon flight and let's get all our guilds at least a rank or two up after this we got two times seals for all you players out there this is very important you will be getting double seals from almost all of your activities you will be getting double seals of the lion manticore pegasus adventurer elements and protectors so get to farming those enchantments rune stones armor salvage whatever it is this is the right time after this, we got Domination Solo queues For all you PvP players that like playing solo, this is the perfect time to do so. You will no longer need pre-made teams. You can just queue up solo and you will get put in a team. Very, very cool. And last but not least, we got the main dish. The juiciest event. The Siege of Neverwinter. It will be live for the next 13 days. To participate, you will want to come to the usual spot in Protector's Enclave and talk to the Siege Defense Coordinator. So without further ado, let's get on to it. Alright, before we jump right into it, keep in mind this will be my first look and first impression of the Siege of Neverwinter. Let's go. Let's look at the store. Here we have champion's banner an artifact of stability it gives you 261 incoming healing and 261 recovery uh, foes will deal four percent less damage so a nice little debuff and it lasts 30 seconds so actually that's a very good and interesting artifact for you know buff debuff players very cool here we have the never winters champions charger i know a lot of us are going after this mount because it just looks mighty nice. Look at this. Then we have the Never Ember Guard Archer. Very nice. You can see the stats, the powers. Then we have the Bag of Cult Trophies, which will give you 200 Dragon Cult Insignias. We have the Never Winton Defenders Pack, which can give you... All of these things here, which are all amazing. You can get two companions, Refiner's Cache, Draconic or Silvery Dragon Scale Enchantments. Very, very nice. Companion Fortification Kits. Very nice. Parry Dots. You know those Parry Dots is what we all want. That's the rarest item in the game. Apart from that, let's look at the Cult Bounty. We can also get the Champion's Battle Horn. It's a little trinket, very cool. Yeah, we went over this, but here you can go a little bit more in depth. Then we got the Injured Survivor's Outfit. Can we preview it? Yes, sir, we can. This is what we would look like with this outfit. It's like you were just in war. You got shot with like five arrows. You're missing an eye, but you're still going strong. <laughs> very interesting. Uh, we also got the Veteran Die Pack. The Dragon Slayer die pack. We got the cart, which is used in crafting task. So very cool. We got the lesser black dragon glyphs. We got all these glyphs. I will just quickly go over them. So you can just pause and read if you'd like. We got the draconic enchantments. And what we all are here for. The quartermaster's rank 5 enchantment. This is what we want, guys. These items not only are very useful and can provide you with tons of benefits, but if you stock these, believe me when I tell you that in a couple weeks, months maybe, you will have millions. Maybe not rank 5. You might have to, you know, raise them up a little bit to, you know, rank 8s, rank 9s. But believe me, you will have a ton of money. These guys are amazing. Now, the siege begins. Let's get right onto it. The city of Neverwinter is under siege by the cult of the dragon. 
General Sabine has requested the aid of Neverwinter's adventurers to repel the cult's army. Meet her on the siege battlefield to learn what you can do to help. All right, guys, we're gonna help. Oh, we got another quest: donating to the defense. The city is under siege, and we are running low on vital supplies. Lord Neverwinter has asked all who can to donate to Neverwinter's defense. If you'd like to help, then you should meet with the defense. Yeah, yeah, I got you. I'll donate. Right before we get on to it, I'm gonna explain real quick a couple of these things. So let's look about the, the siege. Dragon has amassed an army to lay siege upon the city of Neverwinter. They breached one of the outer walls and are now trying to push into the city itself. Meanwhile, their dragon allies terrorize us from the skies. General Sabina has a plan to push them back and ask the city's adventurers for their help. All right. General Sabine can issue a writ of commendation to heroes who make a decisive impact against the cult of the dragon. You can turn them into me or take them to Sergeant Potala at the Siege Battlefield store to exchange for various rewards. You also collect dragon cult insignia by completing tasks in defense of Neverwinter or even a medal of heroism for extreme valor on the battlefield. General Sabine can award a Medal of Heroism to heroes who perform acts of extreme valor against the Cult of the Dragon. Medals can also be earned by donating large amounts of defense supplies. Bring your medals to me, or take them to Sergeant Potala on the Siege Battlefield to purchase various rewards. You also collect Dragon Cult insignia by completing tasks in defense of Neverwinter. And each day that you aid the city by fighting the Cult, you can earn a writ of commendation on the battlefield. All right, so pretty much we're learning how and how to get the actual currencies and exactly how they work. This is very important, guys, because, you know, the event will last 13 days and we definitely want to get all these very cool items. Well, other than helping us to spare the city from getting sacked by an army of dragon worshipping fanatics, the Protector has also authorized special rewards for those heroes who aid the city in this dark hour. These rewards will only be available while the siege persists. So join the battle as soon as you can. Alright, so let's look in depth at what the actual things are. We can get the Charger, the Defense Pack, all these things. We've pretty much gone over them and all the other, you know, cool things you can get. We didn't look at this one, though. There we go. This is the other style of fashion set that there is from the event. So, very, very cool. And, yeah, guys, that will pretty much explain everything that has to do with the event. Let's get to actually playing and farming it. You'll want to come this way and talk to the Defense Supply Master. This is where you will get your first missions. All right, now that we're here, we're going to pick up the quest, supplying the defense, where we will see our first dragon cult insignia. This is one of the currencies for the event. Very cool. So, let's get it. And we will complete the donating to the defense quest. Very nice. We will also pick up the quest, professional defense. We will have to hire a siege master. This is where it gets interesting, guys. I'll show you. You will want to come to professions. Because a brand new one just came out. You'll want to go down to siege defense effort and hire your first siege master. It will only take you about three seconds real quick. And after that, you'll want to get to crafting your defense supplies because as we know we can trade these in for a lot of interesting things so yeah find one you can do and let it go so I'm interested in making this one so I'm gonna leave it going for eight hours I'm gonna see if I could hire another siege master because I do not know and we cannot right now so what we want to do is meet up with General Sabine on the battlefield. 
So let's get to it, guys. You want to head over this way. It's a very interesting event. A lot to take in real quick. The Siege Battlefield. Let's get to it. That blue dragon I posted on my last video. Check it out. Make sure to like and subscribe, guys. Appreciate the support. And I really enjoy your feedback. That's the reason I keep on making these videos. So let me know what you think. Let's get on with it. We will meet up with General Sabine. All right. The cult of the dragons. Let's complete our quest. The cult of the dragons army Siege of Neverwinter. Here we will get rid of commendation. We will get three cult secrets and two dragon sigils. How do I fight the siege? And the cult's army are focusing the battle in two main areas the battlefront and the enemy lines. Each area is host to different heroic encounters. The fight on the battlefront is focused around defending the breach and pushing back the cult of the dragon. If you're looking for a specific heroic encounter, you can join in the current one and help end it faster. You'll get rewards for fighting in heroic encounters, so there's always an incentive hmm. to take the fight to the enemy. Then let's take the fight to the enemy. Let's get this. Oh, look, another Cobra member. Shout out to Cobra. Awesome guild. It's always active, very helpful. And if you take your time to join or join one of our allied guilds, matter of fact, I'm going to show you something. Little... These are our guilds and our alliances. We're currently looking for two guilds that are active, willing to do dragon flight and help grow. We're looking for those players who are themselves looking to grow, but are daily and active. So if you're either a player willing to join any of these guilds, let me know. Or if you're a guild in its own that it's active with a lot of players and you want to join you know our alliance and do dragon flights hit me up on the video or contact let's see if he's on one of the officers or leader himself I will show him real quick let's look for him right here the enemy that's his profile Give him a quick message if you're a guild looking to join our alliance. Or if, you know, you're just a regular player looking to join. Now, let's actually get on to farming the event. We will get to farming these encounters. Let's look at the map real quick. So we got an exclusive map to the siege. Very cool very appropriate it was about time we got an actual area even if it's a small one it was about time we got an actual area you know for an event let's invite this guy to the group let's invite this guy to the group where's the cult general oh they just killed the cult general smack the iron golem but yeah, this is overall what you want to do. Keep in mind, it will be hot. There will be a lot of people here farming events. Not only that, just overall killing. Okay, we got to destroy these catapults. There we go. That's one out of four. So yeah, guys, this is pretty cool. We got another catapult over there. By the way, guys, if you haven't already, check out my buddy Gaming Dad 78's channel. He posts a lot of Neverwinter content. If you're into Neverwinter and its content, and you know you want to have players that 
post content regularly make sure to hit up his channel he has really good content that you guys will like he also does pvp if you guys are into that so very cool okay that's three of four. Oh, this is this is pretty cool and they got the fourth one so that is one event down pretty easy just farming heroic encounters and as you can see there are a ton of people here you will get your dragon horde coins which is you know normal and your dragon cult insignias i got 30 for that encounter but i don't know if you get that for every encounter because as you guys know it's my first impression oh look a dragon horde coffer hmm interesting so i can farm coffers here you know that's a little interesting fact for all of us so now we gotta wait Let's try to head to the middle to, you know, just be ready. Right here. Let's farm some of these, meanwhile. I think it's a very cool event. It has a lot to offer and it's very short. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section. I want to hear your opinions on the event. No encounters yet. Oh, we can change instances. If nothing is coming up where you're at, you're going to have to change instances. And it's probably going to be like this for the next few days, you know. The event just dropped and it has tons of stuff, so. Oh, boy. Look, Quarter Masters rank 9 in the auction house going for 295k. And that's right now wait when the actual you know event ends a couple weeks pass by and you can't get the enchantments anymore the price is going to skyrocket especially with two times refinement around the corner it's pretty cool it's taking a while for these events to respawn so i'm thinking that if i can't change instances that easy Oh, let's take a quick look into the rank 9 Quartermaster's enchantment. You have a 2% chance at finding the same thing, but it's a 2% chance at rank 9. So, think about it. Refinement stones, campaign currencies, and up to rank 7 enchantments. 2%. So, if you put these on all your other stuff, you could have like 4 6% around there with just rank 9s. And that's for double enchantment. It's going to be crazy. You guys definitely got to get your hands on these. And still no. So, yeah. I don't know if it's taking a while just for me. Or that it just takes a while for them to pop back up. That way people actually stay here and spend time, you know, farming the event. Trying to get things. It doesn't surprise me that it works like that. So, yeah. Let's check out the supply sergeants called Bounty. I got 30 of these, so we can get this, we can get the outfit, we can get die packs, and rank 5s. From just doing that one encounter, we can, from doing two, we can get about one quartermaster's enchantment, a rank 5. So, if every encounter gives us 30 dragon cult insignias, for two encounters, you can get one. So very, very cool. There we go. And another one popped right back up. Let's get back to it. I, oh, it's a dragon. Let's get this dragon, guys. Let's do us a little dragon hunting. You guys know I love dragon hunting. It's the best. 
especially the stronghold dragons with their crazy effects, you know, the blue dragon is my least favorite. That blue dragon is just a pain. Which is the dragon you guys like the least, you know? Because some of them are really easy. Don't if if you say the red one, the red one's the easiest, guys. So I expect to hear, I don't know, blue, black, maybe, green, but not red. But definitely let me know which dragons you guys like the least. We have killed our first dragon in the Siege of Neverwinter. Let's check out our rewards. 30 more Dragon Cult Insignias. Very cool. And now we got a report to the general, but ain't nobody got time for that. We're going to be farming more of these heroics. And that's what you guys got to do. Farm as many of these as you can. When you get enough of these actual currencies, then go back. Clear up inventory. Do what you got to do and come right back. Where's he at? Swing at the air. Oh, I see him. So what? Either he glitched or is he invisible? What is going on? I'm about to lay the smack down on Mr. Invisible Man. Going down, man, especially for being invisible. That's not cool. But I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be a drag. There he is. He is here. So we just slayed another dragon. The glitchy, invisible green dragon. He's probably not invisible. That was just a glitch. Brand new event. Everybody farming, you know. But yeah, we just slayed the red dragon and now the green dragon. So these dragons are getting smacked. Let's see if there's another event that popped up. While we wait, let's just kill ourselves a red iron golem. I will show you guys two more events and we'll go back and talk to General Sabine. See how everything's going. I got you, I got you. Another dragon horde. Very cool. Nothing yet. So they do take a while. This is information I wanted to show to you guys live. I wanted you guys to see that it does take a while for the heroics to pop back up after they've all been cleared. So while you do that, you can wait. You can, you know, change instances. That works. That's probably what I'm going to start doing right after I finish this video. I just wanted to give you a full guide of, you know, how the event goes, how the, you know, heroics are and what you got, got to do. So, by the way, these dragons are nowhere near as hard as the stronghold dragons. They melted like butter real quick. So, you guys don't got to worry about that. One last wave of heroics. How have you guys enjoyed Mod 10 so far? Have you felt the changes done to the classes? What do you guys think of the new campaign, the boons, how it handled? Now that we've actually gotten to experience 
a little more of it. What do you guys think? Are you excited for mod 10.5 or you guys think it's going to suck? I personally think that kayaking, regardless of, you know, what it is, it's going to be pretty interesting. You know, sailing the seas in Neverwinter. It's overall cool. We haven't had that always, you know, in the ground. So just changing from land to sea it's already pretty interesting now how the mechanics are going to fare out if it's going to be worth it for actual grind we'll have to see but i do think it's pretty cool that we have our own rafts and we'll be able to sail the sea let's just hope you know it lives up to what it's sounding like and let me hear your thoughts on it that will be you know very much appreciated There we go, another demonic encounter. Cult invasion. Here you can see a quick info of it. Very easy. Just jump right in. Kill all these guys. Fairly easy. They will rush all the time. You gotta kill 100 attacking cultists. So, pretty interesting mode, you know. You gotta be moving, you gotta be killing. The faster you do it, the faster you get what you wanna get in this event. Very important. Come on. I really just killed all of these? Okay, so these guys are squishy, guys. I just killed everybody with my throwing daggers. So these are level 60, most of you guys won't have any problem with it, very cool. Let's come out this way, we're at 80 right now, so very close. Ooh. Here you are. So overall they just come from two sides, from left and right when it comes to cult invasion. And they probably spawn up there a little. Oh, we get vouchers here as well. So we can definitely get so much from this. Help our guilds grow. All of this. It's very awesome. Another heroic encounter completed. Let's check our rewards. We got 8 Dragon Horde coins, 3 Defense Supplies, and 20 Dragon Cult Insignias. So... We can also get defense supplies from here, as we know. Very cool, we got three. So like I told you guys, you will want to farm as much of the event as you can. You just want to get as many of these quartermaster enchantments. You want to try to get yourself the mount. It's a very cool event, and like all events, when it comes to fashion sets, mounts, it's very nice to have one when no one else seems to know where to get one, and the prices on them skyrocket, if they can be sold, which I haven't really gotten into in here. Let's check. Oh wait, we can not check here. I'll probably let you guys know on my live stream this Saturday, or by then you'll know. You probably, if they're drops, I'm sure you can sell some, but if they don't drop and you can only get them through right trade, I don't know if you can sell them. Um, you can get tyranny vouchers here as well. Very cool. I'll pick that up right after I end this clip, guys. Like I've said in many videos, it seems like, you know, no matter how much bags you get, you never have enough space and you never will that's the thing just one more catapult left and it's going down right about now there we go we have completed our last heroic encounter I have showed you guys pretty much everything there is to know about the event on the day it releases. 
If any more news come up somehow or if I find any cool tricks, I will make sure to let you guys know. Overall, it's very cool. As you can see, these events are extremely quick. There's tons of people farming them. So overall, you know, it's very worth it. Uh, since I got this enchantment and I will let you guys know my opinions and, you know, what I think about it. For now, I hope you guys have, you know, enjoyed the video, gotten all the information you wanted. And make sure to, you know, let me know what you think of the video. Let's, you know, wait, discard this real quick to just show you the last thing I'm going to do before the video ends. Hope you guys get excited. I'm going to get my first Quartermaster's Enchantment. So, you know what? Let's do something real, real crazy. Let's get two. So, yeah, guys. With that, I will wrap up this video. There is so much more stuff to do. So, I will meet you guys back in Protector's Enclave. Oh, wait. Let's turn in our quest. <laughs> let's turn in our quest real quick. The Siege of Neverwinter. We will get all these things. So, let's complete our quest. And now, we will truly head over to Protector's Enclave to finally end the video and show you the last bit of information you guys want to know. Alright, we are back in Protector's Enclave. Let's head over and donate the fence supplies because we got some from that encounter. Let's head over to the fence supply master. And donate relief supplies. We can donate one defense supply if package. You are certain, then we will gladly accept it. Sweet. So let's take. On behalf of the city and its people, you have my thanks. And we have completed our first quest. So let's reclaim our reward here. Donate a little more. So this is pretty much how it works. You want to farm the event to get your currencies. There you go. Oh, wait. I'll get it. So yeah guys, that will pretty much wrap up the event and everything there is to know about it so far. Keep in mind, this is my first impression. If you guys find anything cool, make sure to let me know. For now, smash that like button, subscribe, and if you have any questions, let me know. Till next time.